Hi, um, Prepare for Your Family here, and I wanted to put together a few videos uh, for you and uh, what I'm doing as far as food storage and how to prepare for my family and some things that I'm doing. And uh, more than likely, if you're watching this uh, this video, you're kind of doing your own research, which uh, I've been doing a lot of research on my own as well. And... Um, have come up with a few ideas and some things that I'd like to uh, that I'd like to share with you. So, anyway, I'm kind of just showing you here um, a little closet that I started, uh, and this is kind of where I got started. Haven't been doing this very long, and by no stretch do I claim to be an expert in this. Um, I, uh, I I think I've stumbled on a few things that might work, and I want to bring a few um, few things to you from a different perspective than what I'm seeing. Uh, others do uh, in in the YouTube world because obviously there's a lot of these type of videos out there. Um, so hopefully, um, what I can do is, uh, is 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 bring some some information to you. And if you have any thoughts, um, and if I'm doing something wrong, if I should do better, let me know. Uh, I'd like to hear from you. Um, now, in my little series of videos, what I decided I was going to do is start here in my little closet and talk about how to make the most of um, the space you have available. For example, I'm kind of just showing you this as I as I do this little intro. But what I did is is I took I started with the cans, and the cans that I use on a regular basis. I decided to build um, some shelves like these little, um, you know, they're angled down. And uh, this wall here was actually all blank. If you can look down towards the back of this, some down in my basement. If you look back there you can see that there's really not a lot of space here where I could do much with this wall. So what I did is these small shelves, just the size of a can, and, um, and, and it works pretty well. I'm going to talk, I'm going to do a quick video just on these, and I'm going to try to keep all of these videos short. Um, and then I have some other storage back here that I'm, I'm still actually building. Here's my, my coffee cans. That light's going to be kind of bright there. Um, now, those aren't, I'm not expecting those to last a long time. It's just the way we go through coffee here, it goes quick. Um, I have some water here, and actually I would like to know if anybody has an idea of how long uh, bottles of water like this would last. Um, I've read on the internet some different things. I'm just not sure. I actually thought I'll buy the better bottles, better you know brands rather than the cheap ones, thinking they may last longer. I have no idea. I want to do a video on the buckets. These are some buckets that I've started on. Those aren't done, but... Um, but I, I have some ideas with that. So there, there's a couple of the videos. One video that I do want to do as well is going to be just on why I think this is relevant now. And I want to take this at a completely different angle than, than I think what people are talking about. But I've noticed something that, um, that I think once, uh, once everything, if, when people look back, they're going to say, oh, you know what, that makes a lot of sense. So I'd like to bring that to you. I want to do a video on nutrition. I have a, uh, a nutritional supplement that I take uh, called Vima, and there's a link below if you want more information about that. It also comes in a dry uh, powder form that I think is perfect for, for long-term storage. Last thing I want to talk about here real quick is um, the type of foods that, that I um, that I'm storing. Like I started with the cans. You got two to three years, right, uh, of storage with that. Well, I wanted something longer and I wanted something more variety. So I found this online uh, called eFoods Global. Now, eFoods Direct has been around for years and then they just recently spun off a division called eFoods Global, which is a direct marketing um, type of, of, of way of, of going to market. And um, the thing I like about eFoods is they have a good variety. They come in small quantities, so you're not opening up these giant number 10 cans when you want to have one serving of something. Um, and you can buy small quantities, uh, and, it, and it's pretty affordable. It's as low as 91 cents a serving. Now, I have a few down here that I'm going to try to show you. Um, this is a uh, cheesy chicken rice casserole. Um, comes in this pack. Here, I'll put it up there for you so you can take a look at that. Um, there's uh, soups, there's breakfast, there's breads, there, there's all kinds of different varieties. And actually, what they're doing, it's pretty impressive, is uh, you can get three packs of this, which is a total of 12 servings, um, uh, for free. 
you just pay shipping, go to the link below, you take a tour. Um, it, I think uh, down to the, and on the, if you click on that link, on the left-hand side of the screen, it says, you know, uh, try 12, take a tour now, or something to that effect. If you go through that tour, they're actually going to let you choose three different uh, servings of that, uh, what, what you'd like, soups or the main entree or whatever, and uh, no obligation. It's pretty cool stuff. So anyway, I'm going to talk more about eFoods, and, um, and uh, I will be back in touch soon. Take care.